जम्मू में न्यूबर्ग डायग्नोस्टिक ने अशाना एक्नोलॉजी एसोसिएशन के सहयोग से मोलकुलर डायग्नोस्टिक इन सॉलिड ट्यूमर पर सेमिनार का आयोजन किया जिसमें डॉक्टर जे मेहता ने विस्तार से इस बारे में जानकारी दी If I may ask, he showed post-operative changes. There was largest was 2.1 into 1.5 centimeter. There was no necrosis, and they were taking it. So do we have punch? It is right next to the renal pedicle. We don't. To our present surprise, uh, I mean to our uh, happiness, study of DNA, RNA, and even proteins in a cell. So the material for this could be uh, paraffin embedded tissue. It could be blood. It could be urine. It could be saliva. Anything can now be investigated to help the uh, patients. So today is the era of uh, comprehensive molecular testing, which has led to personalized medicine. Uh, you can unearth potential uh, potential diagnostic uh, and therapeutic targets. You can provide further insight into the biology of the disease. You can guide treatment decisions by uh, unearthing predictors, uh, prognostic indicators, and even monitor response to uh, a treatment by doing MRI analysis. Now, genetic alterations could be at a chromosomal level, or they could be gene level alterations. Uh, the chromosomal alterations can be, of course, you know, checked by conventional keratotyping, but gene level alterations cannot be done by that. So, we need to have something as robust as an exonation sequencing, or some kind of a powerful sequencing platform to check for that. Now, while two tumors may look similar under the microscopic image, they can be not an integral part of uh, precision diagnosis. Genomic testing helps to identify mutations in the gene of the cancer cells that drive the growth of the tumor. Once you have this information, you can actually pinpoint what's the mutation target that uh, we shall be giving our carpet bombing. Remember that protein analysis by immunological chemistry is also molecular testing. It's much economical, much faster, and you can actually you know, assess for tumor-specific antigens such as CA125, for example. You could assess for protein products of oncogenes like NKX2.2. Which is a downstream target of human sarcoma fusion (EWS) flyby. You can assess for tumor suppressor genes such as uh, like you know blastoma one. There's a whole family of tumors which lose RB1 by immunological chemistry. So you can diagnose a lot by immunological chemistry as well. There are tumor cell proliferation markers such as T67 that we use for breast cancers, for example, and for neuroendocrine tumors. Now, there are enzymes such as succinate uh, dehydrogenase. You can use them for uh, diagnosis of several tumors. Uh, so therefore, as I said, it's economical, it was faster, and you know, it can give a uh, very snappy decision. So here's a case capsule. This is a 46-year-old female. Uh, she had um, vaginal bleeding and endometrial keratin was suggestive of high-grade endometrial adenocarcinoma. Hysterectomy also showed a high-grade endometrial adenocarcinoma, grade three. Um, it was. Um, actually, I think it was less than 50, but actually more than 50 percent myometrial invasion. देशभगत यूनिवर्सिटी पंजाब कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड पी एच डी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट अंडर ग्रेजुएट पी जी डिप्लोमा डिप्लोमा सर्टिफिकेट कॉन्टेक्ट अस फॉर एडमिशन्स 9789 9789 